last month's Olympic trials. She's on the Olympic team. She takes part in the medal ceremony, meets with the press, and then, wait, it was a dead heat with Allison Felix, and a runoff was scheduled for Monday. And Jenna Batarmo joins us now on SportsCenter from Los Angeles. You originally agreed to the runoff with Allison, Phoenix, uh, Allison Felix, <laughs> and then you say, you know what, my, my heart's not in it. I, I felt like I was kind of robbed. So why did you agree to the runoff in the first place? Well, um, you know, the way everything took off was pretty much the night before I spoke with Allison, I told her how I felt. I said, Allison, I'm not comfortable with the runoff and I'm not comfortable with the coin toss. I'm, I don't really have a decision. I don't want to do anything, honestly. Could we talk about this? And she said, well, how do you feel? And I said, I feel like it was, I feel like if I would have won fair and square, that's how it should be. They shouldn't change their mind. If it was you, they wouldn't change their mind. I felt like if I did my victory lap, I went to the press conference, I celebrated with joy, that shouldn't be taken away from me. We go into a meeting with um, USATF chairman, chair board, and my agent said to Allison, Allison, Jennifer's under the impression that if we talk to the time master and he tells us how he feels and what he thinks, then you will concede your spot. And Allison said, I didn't mean that. I meant if you can change the official results, then I'll concede my spot. Then that's, that's, what, that's what's going to happen because I worked hard for this too. I can't just give up my spot. And when she said that, I was, I was just in shock. You thought you had an understanding with Allison Felix. Yes. Do you feel that Allison Felix betrayed you or she just misunderstood what your arrangement was? I think we both misunderstood each other. Um, at the time, in the meeting, I'm not going to lie, I did feel betrayed. I felt like she said one thing and did another. But after all was said and done, it was just a big miscommunication. Although I, I feel that I won and I got third and I deserve to be on that team, and I feel that they took it away from me, it's okay. Um, when I gave the position to Allison, I gave it to her with open arms. Jenna Batarmo, uh, no 100 meters at the L London Olympics, but she is on the Olympic team representing the United States. Gold medal style there from her. You just heard from Jenna. You heard her state her case now on ESPN.com. Jim Capel explains why she shouldn't have never been put in that position. From track to tennis, two American men left at Wimbledon.